six, the Honourable Darren Hughes. Mr Speaker, my question uh, has been transferred to the Minister for Tertiary Education and asks how will he build Order. better value out of the... Order. <laughs> Order. Now, the, the Honourable Darren Hughes is uh, a former shadow leader of the House and as senior opposition whip, uh, he knows that he can't do that when asking a question. Uh, and I'm sure he would now wish to uh, desire to ask the question correctly. The Honourable yeah, Darren Hughes. Run, but she can't buy. To the minister, my question is to the Minister for Tertiary Education and asks, how will he build better value out of the interest-free student loan system, as he stated was his government's intention in his statement to Parliament last week? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, could I take the opportunity of welcoming the member to his new role, which I understand was an accidental appointment? Um, the government <laughs> remains committed to interest-free student loans, but also believes such a generous loan scheme should carry strong mutual obligations on those who benefit from it. This year... We just want to hear, Mr. Speaker. Order, I, I, I just can't hear the answer here. I, and I don't think he wants to either, because he's the order. accidental spokesman, order. Mr. Speaker. No, order. Order. I'd, I'd invite the uh, Minister, please, to start his answer again without the prelude to the answer because I did not hear the detail of that answer. The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker. You ready, Shane? Order. The Honourable Stephen Joyce. <laughs> Mr Speaker, the Government remains committed to interest-free student loans but also believes such a generous loan scheme should carry strong mutual obligations on those who benefit from it. This year the Government has introduced rules around requiring reasonable academic progress a commitment of new residents to the country before they can access the scheme, a maximum number of years you can access the loans, and actions to chase down debts owned by borrowers who are overseas. We will be evaluating further options along these lines as part of a value for money drive that has so far seen the savings contribute to an additional 8,200 university places this year since 2008. The Honourable Darren Hughes. Was John Key right to describe interest-free student loans as, quote, fiscal insanity, and in saying that National would oppose such a policy with every bone in our bodies. The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, it is well known that the student loan scheme is very generous, and I think that's what the Prime Minister was referring to. And in fact, our student support scheme in this country is the most generous, possibly the most generous in the world. Therefore, it is appropriate it carries reasonable obligations. Under the previous government, they were writing off something like 49 cents in every dollar of student loans. We have so far managed to get that down to 45 and we're working to get it further down as well. The Honourable Darren Mr. Hughes. What is the Government's view of the recommendation of the Savings Working Group that, that uh, they reintroduce interest on student loans? And can he rule out that uh, his Government would introduce student loan uh, interest in the unfortunate event that National was given a second term? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, the members' listening skills need improvement because in answer to the uh, primary question I said that we remained committed to it. I have also said so in response to media questions and the Prime Minister has also reported as well, so perhaps a little bit of more research from the new member, the new spokesman for tertiary education. The to all this, the supplementary, question. Darren Hughes. supplementary question to the Minister for Tertiary Education. How can New Zealanders trust a promise not to reintroduce interest on student-free loans from National? given that that's the same party that said they wouldn't increase the GST. The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, I think we can see from the opinion polls in this country that actually the government is trusted by New Zealanders. They understand that we are doing a good job of managing the economy and managing areas such as tertiary education, and they continue to give the government its support, and we continue to seek its support. Question number seven, Louise Upston. 